Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today we'll be in Philippians, Philippians chapter number 3, and we'll look at verse number 10 as a text verse of Scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. And friends, I pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word today. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. <clears throat> well, amen, friend. There's just not a better way to get a new day started. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a devotional thought titled, Comprehending the Truth. Comprehending the Truth. You know, friend, God wants you to know the depth of who He is. He wants you to truly grasp His majesty, His holiness. His power, His love, His grace, and His joy. Because when you begin to comprehend these mighty truths about His character, you are enriched, you are enabled, and you are energized. Despite being stoned, beaten, and shipwrecked, slandered, and rejected, and imprisoned, Paul wrote his ultimate aim in life was to know Christ. And surely Paul did know him. This knowledge carried, encouraged, and strengthened him to the very end. And Paul was able to proclaim, The Lord stood with me and strengthened me. The Lord will rescue me from every evil deed and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Listen, friend. When you know Christ, Jesus, as your deliverer, as your comforter, your forgiver, your healer, and the Prince of Peace, you can endure too, just like Paul, because you know the truth of God's character and the certainty of God's promises. So, friend, press on to know him at all costs. Comprehend his truth. Think about this, and now let us pray together. Lord, help us know you, all of you, to the greatest height and the very depth of your being. Help us, God, know you like Paul knew you. And Lord, we'll be careful to praise you for it. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen 
and amen. Well, friend, I pray that the devotion was a blessing to you this morning. Help us, Lord, to comprehend your truth. Amen. If the devotion was a blessing to you, you be a blessing by sharing it with others, remembering that your life is the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Again, God bless you. Have a good and a wonderful day today.